All right, Mitch, just about to step on stage at Just for Laughs Montreal. How you feeling, Big Daddy? Oh, man, I, th- I think it's going to go good. I feel the crowd is, you know, they're, they're, they're really laughing hard, so I'm excited. I got some I, I got some ideas that I might try, you know. Hopefully it'll fly. <laughs> we'll see. You got any, uh, like, little butterflies or insects in your stomach or anything? <laughs> nah, yeah, totally, man, always. Man. I like to, like, move back and forth, so that could be some kind of insect effect there, totally, you know. You're like a, uh, a, a millipede. I just called you a millipede. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm so many legs short of that, man. So, I know. You've only crazy. got two. Why <laughs> yeah. did I do that to you? Why, why you did I play the race card? A dosapede. A do- a, he's a dosapede. Yeah. And now, a man who sees the world through rose-colored glasses. Literally. It's Mitch Hedberg. Thank you. This is uh, my favorite place to perform comedy in. Big room. Packed. I like this. You know, I, I, was, I was here in 1998. And I performed here, and I had a pretty good set, you know. I thought it was cool. People laughed a lot, you know. But then they didn't bring me back for three years now. So tonight I'm going to try to suck. (laughs) Maybe they'll give me back next year. I don't really like beer. I like to have a Jack and Coke, but they won't let us have it back there. One time I had a Jack and Coke that had a lime in it, and I saw that the lime was floating. That's good news, man. Next time I'm on a boat and it capsizes, I will reach for a lime. I'll be water skiing without a life preserver on. People will say, what the hell? And I'll pull out a line. <laughs> and a lemon, too. I'm saved by the buoyancy of citrus. <laughs> I thought my teeth were white until I washed my face with Noxzema. <laughs> they are off-white. I'm not even white. I'm off-white. It's a new race. We will prevail. You know, when it comes to racism, people say, I don't care if they're black, white, purple, or green. Oh, hold on now. Purple or green? You got to draw the line somewhere. (laughs) To hell with purple people. (laughs) Unless they're suffocating. (laughs) Then help them. I'm staying at a hotel right now. There's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man. The people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. (laughs) If you jump out of the 14th floor hoping to kill yourself, you will die earlier. (laughs) 13 is an unlucky number. If 13 is unlucky, then so should the letter B be. Because B looks like a scrunch together 13. Hello, what is your name? Bob, get the hell away. (laughs) I saw a commercial for an above ground pool. It was 30 seconds long. You know why? Because that's the maximum amount of time you you can depict yourself having fun in an above ground pool. (laughs) If it was 31 seconds, the people in the pool would be going, what the hell, what am I supposed to do now? The water's only up to here. What should I do? Throw the ball back to Jimmy? Or put some goggles on and look at his feet? I was gonna stare overnight at my friend's house. He said, you're gonna have to sleep on the floor. Damn, gravity got me again. You don't know how bad I want to sleep on the wall. I bought a house, I bought a two bedroom house, but it's up to me how many bedrooms there are though, isn't it? This bedroom has an oven in it. (laughs) This bedroom has a lot of people sitting around watching TV. (laughs) This bedroom is AKA a hallway. (laughs) This bedroom's over in that guy's house. (laughs) Sir, you have one of my bedrooms. (laughs) Stay out. I got a king size bed. I don't know any kings, but if one came over, I guess he'd be comfortable. Oh, you're a king, you say. Well, you won't believe what I have in store for you. It's to your exact specifications. When I was a boy, I laid in my twin-size bed wondering where my brother was. See, I live in the the U.S. If, If you're in the U.S. and you can trick someone into thinking they're in Canada, you can get more money for a magazine. 
I was at a convenience store reading a magazine. The clerk said, this is not a library. I said, all right, I will talk louder then. I was at a restaurant. I ordered a chicken sandwich, but I don't think the waitress understood me because she said, how would you like your eggs? So I tried to answer her anyhow. I said, incubated. And then raised, and then beheaded, and then plucked, and then cut up, and then put onto a grill, and then put onto a bun. Damn, it's gonna take a while. I don't have time. Scrambled. All right, I had a cold sore, I put some Carmex on it. Carmex is supposed to heal cold sores. I don't know if it does, but it will make them shiny and more noticeable. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you.